just ask him why you're watching the film. Oh, yeah. Well, you married me right in the middle of Terminator 2. And he was still sulking about not going out. Today's a new day. How are you going to propose? Don't you start. You're useless. It just... It wasn't the right time. I don't know. Maybe it's never going to be the right time for me and Robert. Meet me for lunch. Why? Because you're my son and I love you and you look like you need cheering up. I've got shopping to do first, but I can meet you after. Well, I can't. I've got my cars in for a... MOT, so. Well, get the bus then. But well, come on, there's this gorgeous little Italian open up on the high street. Get yourself dressed up and indulge your old one for once. Yeah, all right. See you. Yeah, Alonso's at one. What are you up to? Hmm. Help me out, and I might just tell you. <coughs> Probably just missing his mummy. Oh, thanks for that, Lydia. I know you miss yours too. Sorry, I've uh, I've got to go. Poor lad, he's such a mess. Mm. Like Samson, at least had two words to make breakfast. Mm. He's another one who's lost his mum. Yes, Alice's anniversary tomorrow. Oh, poor little lamb. Why didn't you say? He wants to raise some money for a cancer charity in her memory. That's so like him. And he's been brilliant with Sarah. What's he got in mind? Uh, I don't know. Some sort of sponsored fun run. Well, I think he's amazing. Just like his dad. I need a favour. I want you to help me organise a fun run in memory of my mum. She died 12 years ago tomorrow. I'm sorry. I lost my mum too when I was four. And my dad when I was eight. My mum died of cancer. Sarah had cancer. I don't want anyone having cancer again. So I want to raise some money for charity. Right. I thought we could do a route around the grounds. Charge people to enter, have them get sponsors. Does your dad know you've come to me? He don't like to talk about my mum dying. I think he's still not got over her. He still loves her even though he's with Lydia. Um, if you'll excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, me. Uh, I've been trying to call you back. It, it... Give him here. I've been trying to make a call all morning. Every time I try, he kicks off. Oh, is Daddy being a mad bum today, sweetheart? You're picking up on his bad vibes. My bad vibes? Between him and Aaron. So, why didn't you propose? You made it impossible. I wanted to take him out, only he wanted to go to the fair. We build as bad as each other. But why don't you take Aaron out later to Hatton? He's supposed to be meeting Charles for lunch, but his car's in an MOT. You know he hates getting the bus. Would you have him again today? I'm busy too, you know. Please, Vic. It'll be an hour, max, I promise. Go on, then. But only if you sort your life out. The anticipation is killing me. Just had a massive result. You what, son? Would you take it? He's all right, you know, when you get to know him. What? Why'd you get him involved? I, I could have sorted something. Yeah, but this way we can make it bigger. You know, make it day professional. No, I... I, I don't know. It'll be ace, Dad. I know it's hard, but it's a good thing we're doing. Trust me. Oh, and I found the hot and courier too. They're going to help promote the event. Interview us about Mum dying. Isn't that great? Where, uh, where are you taking him? We're going to the pub. He's got another exciting day of watching me chop carrots. All right, where's, uh, where's Robert? He's sorting stuff out with Aaron. 
And as gorgeous as Seb is, he's not my baby. Plus, I never see you getting landed. Well, let me take him then. But seriously? Yeah, I was going to ask for it anyway. Oh, you are a gorgeous human being. I just feel so sorry for him. You think Rebecca would be missing him like mad by now? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, just go get his car seat. Come on. Let's go see Mummy. Say goodbye. We'll get in. Why? Cos I'm giving you a lift into town. You're meeting your mum, aren't you? You told you. Liv? Yeah, well, I've no idea what it's about, but she insisted, and you know what she's like when she don't get her own way. <laughs> yeah, like mother, like son. Hmm. Hello. Aaron, I'm just running a bit late. Oh, how late? I don't want to be sat in the restaurant on my own. Well, can't bother to sit with you for half an hour till I get there. Yeah, all right, go on then. I'll see you in there. No, you won't, cos I'm not even going. <laughs> so they both get there and... Then what? Well, they get shown to the coziest, most romantic table in the house and then get given some champagne. And if that doesn't get things moving, then I officially give up. Why would I do that? Give him to me now. Look, I'm giving my baby! Maybe you should calm down first, all right? I'll calm down when you give me my child. Look, it's not going to help if you hold him. Well, then why is he here? I told you, I told you not to bring him here. Because I'm, I'm not completely heartless, all right? You need to say goodbye. So you can go out for lunch with your mum, but you can go out to a bar with me, basically. I didn't want to go to some posy bar. I wanted to go out and have some fun. Like cooking ducks, dear. Stuff in your face with candy floss. I like your face at all. Are you joking me? You're out of petrol. I forgot to fill up. What? It's an easy mistake to make. I'm waiting here for some tow truck. Hang on. Don't you think this is weird? What, are you messing up again? No, not really. You no, know, you do realise where we are? It's just some random lay-by. Well, it's not some random lay-by, though, is it? Wait there. Well, what else am I going to do? I've got something in the boot. It's not Lachlan, is it? Listen to mummy, okay? Now, um, I know, <clears throat> I know you won't understand this, but I need to say it to you because I need you to hear just how much your mummy loves you. <laughs> Even if it's for the last time. You know, I always have and I always will. <laughs> just say goodbye. You are by far. <laughs> The best thing that has ever, ever happened to me. And I am so, so sorry, sweetheart, that I haven't been there to be your mummy recently. But I hope you will know one day just how much you were loved by me. 
I'm not completely heartless, <laughs> you know? That's why I wanted you to have this time, because I had a few minutes with Mum before she, uh... Anyway, it, it meant a lot to me. And I know you won't understand that, knowing what I did, but it did. I will never say goodbye to my son. I can't. I won't. Right, well, I'm just going to have to take him then, aren't I? No, no, please, Lachlan, please, I'll say goodbye. I will. I just... I need more time. No, that wasn't easy. Hearing Samson talk about his mum. You can always talk to me, you know. I don't wish to. I'm fine as I am. Thank you. Anyway. Warm air. A little cool yesterday. They were sat in a bag of ice. Why? Still can't get past us breaking down here. Of all places. Yeah, right. I reckon you set it up. You rigged it last time, do you remember? Yeah, of course. It's the first time we kissed. Whoa, whoa, we? No. You made some mad lunge at me. I don't even know what hit me. Yeah, well, I don't remember you pushing me off. <laughs> That's because you ran away. I was so freaked out. <laughs> Thanks. You're all I wanted. You're all I could think about. I was just petrified of what it meant. I know. You changed my life, Aaron. You made it okay to be me. Who I really am, not just some angry chancer who's always on the make. You know, for the first time in years, I've I quite like who I am. You love who you are. <laughs> I reckon I'm good enough dad to Seb and Liv finally kind of likes me. <laughs> and then there's you. No one's ever come close. They never will. And I know my last car proposal didn't exactly go to plan. Yeah, well, you know... Wait, what? What proposal? Well, I didn't exactly bank on us plunging into a quarry for a start. No, 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 whoa, 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 stop that, stop that. You did it last time, this is my turn. What? No, th this was my plan all along. Yeah, I wanted to bring you here yesterday and you ruined it. Seriously? <laughs> well, then why did you dress it up as a fun fair? Why did you dress it up as some poncy bar? <laughs> Will you marry me? Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do, do you think we are? Yeah, always. But I'm still saying yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. I can't believe you stole my idea. Oh, shut up and kiss me, idiot. Look at him, Lachlan. Just look at him. He is innocent. He has done nothing to you. Not one thing, and yet... Shut up, all right? This is emotional blackmail. And what are you doing to me? Look, I brought him here to see you, to make you happy, all right? The quicker this is over with... You're gonna kill me in front of my own son. I will do anything, Lachlan, please, anything. There is no other way. I'll go to prison and I'll lose Belle. OK, it's me or you, Bex, and I know who I'm choosing. You know, you say Seb is the best thing that's ever happened to you. Well, Belle is the best thing that's ever happened to me. She loves me more than anybody has ever loved me. Oh, your mum loved you so much. So did Dad. So do I. No, you don't. Yes, I do. So what if, um... <laughs> what if, what if I go away? Yeah? People already think I'm in Wales. No one will come looking. I'll, I'll take Seb and we will move far away from you, far away from all of this. 
I will forget you ever existed. If you'll only let me live. What's up with your head? No, I, I, I was just looking great. Sam? Samson's getting Joe Tate to hold a fun run for Alice. But that's great, isn't it? Alice ran the courier for publicity. They, they want to interview us both. Wow. Alice must have been really special. <sighs> Sam. Sam, what is it? What's happened? I can't tell you. Of course you can. You can tell me anything, you know that. I killed it. I killed my own wife. She, she, she was so poorly. She was in so much pain. She, she was begging me to help her. And she said she didn't want to leave us, but I just, just wanted to rest. I, I, I didn't want her to go, but I, I, I loved her. So I helped her to be free. Oh, how did you do that? Did, did you get... I got, got loads of... Painkillers, too many. It's, just, it's, it's what she wanted. And Kane took the rap. Couldn't go to prison. Samson was just a baby. Oh, how completely horrendous for all of you. I'm so scared because if, if, if the papers get involved, it'll all come out again and Samson will just hate me forever. I, 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 I can't lose him hey, at all. It's all right. Look, <sighs> we'll make him realise it's what Alice wanted. Listen, you did what you did out of love. <sighs> and there is nothing greater than love. I've finished, and tomorrow's my day off, as you know. Graham. You know where I am tomorrow. I'll be OK. They were no-shows. I am so sorry for messing you around. OK, bye. Bye. Didn't even make it to the restaurant. That is the last time that I am interfering. Oh, hello. You could have at least let me know that you were going to stand me up. Uh, check your voice, mate. I'll off your message. Well, right. well, well, why didn't you go? Because someone ran out of petrol, so we had to get Kane out. Anyway, why are you here if you never got my message? It's more like you stood me up. <sighs> I was never meant to be there in the first place, was I? Just set up. Tired of you messing around. Yeah, well, you just tell him that you want to marry him and have it done with, please. I already did. So did I. Wow. And? <gasps> ah, yay! Oh, congratulations. What's going on? She's got engaged. Oh, finally! That's two awesome things that have happened today. You's get engaged and Lachlan's upset. Really? Yeah, just for a couple of hours, but congratulations. I'll go and get the champagne. Um, what do you think about maybe adopting Seb after we're married, if Rebecca doesn't come back? I'd love to, yeah. His family's all that matters to me now. Please, Lachlan, let me help you. You're still my family. You always will be. We protect our family name. Chrissy and Dad. And I leave the country quietly without telling anyone where I'm going. You make it sound so easy. But it can be easy, Lachlan. This nightmare can be over. I know that's what you want. It's what I want. It's what your mum would want and your granddad. It's the last thing you can do to put right what you did to them. We need this to be over. 
You're just a grieving young man. That's what this has all been about, isn't it? I never wanted to kill you. I know, sweetheart. So please, let me disappear with my son. It is the last thing that I will ever ask from you. Lachlan. I'll get Seb away from Robert. He doesn't deserve him anyway. I need to plan it, but... I'll get you and Seb out of the country. Together. turns detective for Shona tonight but can anyone comprehend David's behaviour we're in Coronation Street next and at 8.30 at 8 could an app for street markets be a money spinner Karen Brady's on hand with the advice to give it a year before Lewis is on the case at 9 as Hathaway's theory is beginning to fall apart <laughs>